show. It was terrific. I had an absolute was, ball. The kids are so good. So, so much talent. To see such kids that perform at such a professional level is just amazing. Jimmy was just brilliant. It's just like Jack Black. Even better. Rosalie was amazing. The whole cast was absolutely fantastic. One of the best musicals I've ever yeah. seen. Yeah. So much fun. That's up from me. 10 out of 10. Thank you, School of Rock. Best Always school I've ever, I've ever attended. I'm Kate Sobrano. And I'm Phil Sobrano. She's my sister. And it's my brother. Mm. We've been doing this rock business since a very early age. Much like the kids from School of Rock. Indeed. We'd like to invite you to come back to check out the scenes behind Andrew Lloyd Webber's Broadway and London smash hit, School of Rock. But first, let's go back to where it all began. The auditions. Today we're looking for children to cast in School of Rock. We're looking for people who can play instruments, who are going to be in the band. And we're looking for our, our principal children's roles and also our ensemble children's roles. My name is Kempton Maloney, Jacob Brendan. I'm nine years old. Ten. Ten. Ten years old. There were about a thousand submissions uh, for, for School of Rock Australia and we're seeing around half of them. Feeling really excited. A bit nervous, fairly confident because I've been practising a lot. Go in there and do my best. All right, everyone, we are, should be ready to go and line up now. Hi, everyone. My name's Matt. We're looking for a mixture of things. The obvious thing is we need four people who can play instruments to a high standard. A guitarist who really knows and understands rock music. They also need to solo like Slash. For drummers, it's all about keeping solid rhythm. And they also need to have some flair about them as well. The bass players, there's a lot of technique involved. We actually require the keyboard players to be quite advanced classically and they also have to sing as well. I'm really pleased with the standard that have come through. There's some really exciting prospects. I just finished the audition. Uh, I think it went really well. I went as well as I think I could have. I tried my best. That's the best I could do. I've done everything that I've practised and I'm feeling really good about myself. The Aussie kids are, are, are really impressing me. This production will compete with, with any production around the world. If I got the role on this, I'd go nuts. And I'd be like screaming so much. I'll be very, very excited, very proud of myself. I'd be over the moon. I really would. I can't describe it. I would feel so good. <laughs> I guess I'll get out of doing homework. Which is... <laughs> and after the break, we learn who has won the roles. I was shown the movie of School of Rock in sort of 2004, five, and my children who were then about the same age as the cast on stage, uh, they were between sort of eight and 11, and they said, you've got to see this movie, Mum. So I watched the movie, and I absolutely fell in love with it. Loved Jack Black, loved the humour, loved the heart of the movie. And halfway through watching it, I thought, oh my God, this is going to make a terrific stage musical. And so I grabbed my husband, Andrew, and said, you've got to watch this movie too. And he watched it, fell in love with it. So the inspiration was in the film, and then my husband fell in love with it. He decided to write 10 new songs, and here we are, about 10 years later. If I could be in any band, what would it be? School of Rock. Adrenaline is absolutely pumping. And just for the record, by the way, these kids were culled out of over a thousand young people from all over the country. And we are honoured that Melbourne has been chosen to be the first city outside of New York and London to present this awesome new production to Australian audiences. May I introduce the band? You're in the band. You. What is your name? Katie. Katie. Australia's Dewey Finn, Mr. Brent Howell! No, and to honour the occasion, I brought out my school blazer out of retirement. Can you believe it still fits? <laughs> I've been acting and singing and dancing for like my whole life. I've played with my dad's band. Every single time that I go on stage, I always get to sing. There we go. 
Mum told Lucia first, uh, and I was extremely excited for her. And then she told me, and I was it, and I just forgot all about her. <laughs> I give you the cast of School of Rock. Let's welcome to the band. Melbourne's going to love this show because it comes with all of the traditions of those fantastic um, family, all ages musicals. What am I most looking forward to for the School of Rock experience? Um, rock now, just like jamming with the band. These kids are amazing. Uh, I can't wait to jam with them and uh, have fun and play and jump about and do the songs. Um, and obviously then once bringing an audience in and yeah, just having a really good time. It's funny, it's engaging, it's really moving. Uh, and it's just got some brilliant new songs in there by Andrew Lloyd Webber. So there's really something in there for everybody. Um, and I think audiences will just have a great time. You can't help but have a good time. I've just seen all of the audition tapes and I know we've got a really, really great cast. We've got great kids in a show that's all about how music can empower children, but it's much, much more than that. Music in schools is something that I'm absolutely passionate about. It's something that crosses all boundaries all boundaries of race, creed, you name it. I've never had such a good time in my life as I've had the School of Rock here on Broadway. And I know it's going to be fantastic in Australia too. And I think you're all gonna have a really, really good time. So keep rocking. So rehearsals are underway. And now our chosen kids are going to be turned into rock stars. You guys, what I am talking about is the man. So the first week or so, uh, all the musicians came in and we all had a great time jamming together and figuring out music. And then after that, everyone joined and we've been working through the show and it's been all going really well. And probably been the funnest thing I've ever done. We've been running uh, the show. We're almost to the end of Act 2. We've been jamming out. Um, all the kids have been playing their instruments and we've been learning the script. The kids are fantastic. They're super talented, um, as are the adults. And we've got a great show here and I'm really excited about it. So go ahead, stick it to me. Shut up, Sheebly! Yeah, that's a start. Anyone else? Sit down! In rehearsals, my favourite part is in Stick It to the Man when Lawrence has his solo while we get to dance. Very good, Summer. The only difference is I mean it. It's just been glorious watching the kids grow and learn. The first time I saw You're in the Band, I have to admit, I got a little bit teary. Okay, we all feeling It's just an extraordinary song, just watching the kids embrace those instruments and. Um, you know, they become a part of their fibre and their person. So it's really cool to watch that happen in the show in real time and then hear the sounds that they're creating. So I think that, that first time I heard that has definitely been a highlight and ever since, every time I hear it since, it's always been really all fantastic. The pressure, all the pressure! I hate the way they jerk ya! Stick it to the man! For the first time, performing was really exciting. Well, my dad doesn't pay attention to me! Now that they ignore ya! Stick it to the man! At the start, I was a little nervous, but when everything started happening, all of the nerves just went away and I felt happy. In rehearsals, we've been learning the show from start to finish and choreographing it on the floor. We've been figuring out where all the spike marks are and where we have to bring everything. And all the musicians had to come in a week early to jam out and learn all the songs before everyone else came in. It's mostly been choreography, but the first week we were doing all the band stuff and singing. My favourite moment in rehearsals has definitely been accomplishing the whole entire show and making a full run of it. Any time that I get to play music with our crew and just 
rock out with everyone. It always makes me feel awesome. But y'all be rocking when I'm done. Zach Mooney, Being with other people who are like me is it's really cool. I love it. Yeah, it's like really nice to you know get some feedback and get some response to you know doing some of those jokes that actually have uh, a response to them. Um, yeah, I can't wait to get the crowd in. It's at the end of the show. We play Teacher's Pet and we get to rock out. And I kind of uh, Dewey gets to live out his rock dreams, and thereby so do I. Um, and it's awesome. We are the school of rock, and school is. In rehearsals, we have been putting the show together uh, bit by bit. I'm pretty lucky because I get a lot of goes at, you know, getting Rosalie right. We have three groups of children, of course, that all need to be rehearsed, so I get three turns whenever I work with them, which has been really fantastic. It really helps with just exploring the character and the extremes that she goes to in the show. starts to get that little bit more real and that sense of how, you know, loud and how properly rock and roll the show is, which I think is a real strength of the show, that it's got that power and, you know, that drum beat and that bass in there that you really feel that, you know, hairs up on your arms go up and you're ready to rock. So now that the kids have learned how to be rock stars, Two of those cast members, Zane and Amy, are going to meet an actual, real-life, bona fide rock star, Gene Simmons from Kiss. Yeah. We are backstage, um, Mr. Gene Simmons. I'm playing these kids' principal in the show, The School of Rock. Uh, what advice do you think I should impart to them? In all seriousness, the best thing for them to do is to watch videos, listen to music of the pivotal artists. Let them see it, feel it, taste it for themselves. Let it, let it soak into their DNA. Do you play guitar because you love music or are you trying to get chicks? A little mix of both. <laughs> <laughs> Who or what was the thing that made you pick up the guitar in the first place? My dad's always been a muso. He's the muso of the family. He does drums and music has always been a part of my life. He introduced me to all of my favourite bands nowadays. We're about to go on as part of Gene Simmons' act. It's pretty epic. Our hearts are racing and you can hear the roar from here and it's pretty incredible, isn't it, Zane? It's a, yeah, it's amazing. You know, there's a show that's in town called School of Rock. You're gonna bring up uh, Zane, who's actually 10 years old. Talk to them. Say something Australian. Go ahead. Really happy to be here. Amazing opportunity. Can't wait to play for you guys. Rock star line. It's not like a shoe salesman. You gotta go, hey, how you doing? How you doing, Melbourne? <laughs> We have a really classy chick who's in a School of Rock. Her name's Amy. Thank you, Jane Simmons. It was a pleasure to talk to me. So rehearsals are done and now they're in the theatre. And allow us to introduce you to two of the cast members, Elijah and Remy. So can you tell us who your characters are and what you do in the show? I play Katie in the show and I play the bass and I'm in the band. Nice. I play Mason and I'm the lighting engineer in the show. Oh, how wonderful. Do you want to take us backstage and show us a little bit around? Yeah, sure. Come on, let's do it. the world began, don't just sit and take it, stick it to the man. Rant and rave and scream and shout, get all of your aggression out. They try to stop So this is our... Wardrobe department. There's a few of the girls' costumes. Yep, those are our there's lovely finale costumes. Lots of costumes sequins. Here. And then there's uh, the police costume for the end of the show here. 
deal. And you must be our wardrobe mistress. Hi, I'm Corinne. I'm the head of wardrobe on the show. Hey, talk us through all the variation of the wardrobe we're looking at here. So we've got about over 250 costumes in the show, and a lot of those are the adult cast who are the parents and teachers of Horace Green. So they have quite a lot of different changes into different parents, different teachers on different days during the show. All 36 kids have two costumes each. Oh. So they have a Horace Green uniform and then they have a bedazzled finale costume. That's a lot of costumes. How do you go doing quick changes on that many costumes? Well, the kids do a lot of the quick changes. They do some of the fastest quick changes in the show. So we choreograph that with our dressing crew and the kids learn how to put their jacket on fast and that kind of thing. And we also have a few tricks like Velcro on ties and elasticated shoes. Awesome. Thanks, Corin. Now, let's go meet Miss Mullins. Cool, let's, let's go. go. See you later. Bye. Bye. So, now we're going to meet Amy La Palma and she plays Miss Mullins. We the screen, we march in lockstep. Remy? Hi. Amy, this is Phil and Kate. Oh, hello, Kate. Do you want to come into my dressing room? Sure. sure. Come on in. How are you enjoying this character and the whole show? Oh, I love it. I'm playing Rosalie Mullins. She's the principal. She's very buttoned up, very stressed at the top of the show. She's got a lot of responsibility. But as the show progresses, we get to see her loosen up a little bit and embrace her in a rock chick. And it is a wonderful thing to be able to play that. Awesome. Is it good to be working with the kids again since Sound of Music? It is. I love it. They know how to embrace everything like new uh, and with so much energy. They allow us as adults to remember what it is to be kids where you don't know everything and you have to learn it and then you just give it your best. So we're, I'm learning so much from you guys. They're very, very good. They have the heart and soul of the show and it's so wonderful for everybody involved. It's been an extraordinary experience and I'm excited about the season. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Well, we should go off and see Brent then. Yeah, cool. And find out about him. And Thank you so much, Amy. See ya. Bye, Bye. Amy. Shot with Brent. He plays oh. Dewey. Cool. Good, how are I'm you? Kate. Hi, Kate. I'm Phil. Hi, Phil. Yeah. Remy and Elijah, good to see you again. Hello. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Well, I just want to ask you a few questions about uh, how it's all been going and, you know, yeah. a little bit about the character. It's been going great. I play Dewey Finn and he uh, is a wannabe rock star, but he's not that great. And then he needs to get money for the rent, so he pretends to um, be a substitute teacher for these guys and then teaches them about rock music, pretty much and tell them to stick it to the man. <laughs> so you're obviously enjoying the show, yeah? Yeah, yeah, it's going great. It's going super cool. Audiences are responding really well. We're having a fun time and... I mean, you guys are okay. <laughs> you're okay. Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You're the real star, though. Yeah, what, yeah, oh. that's, that's right, Remy. <laughs> that's right. No, it's not <laughs> Excellent. Well, thanks a lot. Listen, I know you're going to get to get ready now. You go stick it to the man. I will. Thanks, dudes. Thanks. I'll see Thank you out there. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Bye. That's great. Now let's go meet the band. Hey guys, this is Kate and Phil. Hey! Hi! Hi Bring the rock tonight, guys. Have a great one. And remember, I know it's only rock and roll, but oh, we... we like it! Yes! <laughs> Next stop, opening night. This one to so come out! Amazing. The show was incredible. Unbelievable. Brilliant. Outstanding. Better than the movie. When the world has screwed you and crushed you in its fist. The production's fabulous. The best thing I've seen. It's like a rock show and a theatre show rolled up in one. So much fun. I would see it again and again and again. Don't just sit and take it, stick it to the man.
absolutely fantastic. I can't get over the kids. They are so talented. To see them performing live with such energy, such enthusiasm, is really mind-blowing. These kids are the stars of the show. Dewey was really funny. Brent Hill, wow. Amazing. Superb. I don't think he stopped for the minute he got on the stage. He's amazing. Nobody else could have played it like that. He's better than Jack Black. Amy singing Queen of the Night in full rock mode is something to behold. She's heaven to watch. Brent and Amy LaPalma are just wonderful and perfect for their roles. <laughs> I couldn't wipe the smile off my face. The energy was amazing. Come and see this show. You leave the theatre feeling absolutely euphoric. It is rockin' Melbourne and it's gonna rock Australia. Celebration after the big first opening night. Thinking back now to when we were doing auditions, now we're all here together after opening night and it's incredible. From just in the auditions to going straight up to stage, we've learnt so much in such a short period of time. It's so cool performing in front of everyone and yeah, it's amazing. I never thought I would get this far. And now I'm up here in front of 1,706 people performing. It's really, really good. It's amazing hearing like so many people cheer for you laugh at you. I feel so awesome, like a movie star. The show went really well. The audience were awesome. They brought in heaps of electricity. It was super cool. Opening night's been amazing. We've had such an amazing response. We are the School of Rock, and school is...